We're not using this German civilian's data, but it all becomes folded into the mix. Of course, in order to train these systems that ultimately are used for warfare contexts, all data is fair game, right? We don't know what our data is used for. The various ways in which I freely give my data. And it's not about me personally, but it's about the patterns, it's about my age, my demographics. This data gets disaggregated and then re-aggregated depending on how it needs to be used. And so I would assume that it would be very difficult to say, well, no, we're not using this German civilian's data, but it all becomes folded into the mix. Military data, synthetic data from post-combat analysis or digital war games, and civilian data collected and labeled under questionable circumstances. This is what trains and powers these new AI systems. Killing machines built on video game imagery and data sets, operating with little to no oversight. Rendering us, our lives, our relationships into systems of classification and systems of classification that we know way too little about and that are highly questionable in terms of the ways in which effectively guilt by association is the, I think, the overwhelming means through which intelligence is produced for security agencies and militaries of various kinds. Guilt by association. In other words, is assigning threat status to people, objects or locations based solely on their proximity to or apparent connection with known or suspected hostile actors, rather than on direct evidence. So if the aim of data collection and uh, datification is the identification of terrorists, we have to question the basis on which that category is being constructed. There are a whole series of categorical identifications being used by the military to sort us, to basically identify us, and to position us in relation to the things that the military is interested in. Simply put, our everyday data is used to decide who's a target and who's not, just like what's been happening in Gaza. In the next episode of AI at War. I think war has always been dehumanizing and I think wherever there's violence involved, humans make a point to dehumanize the enemy.